It's a new month here at Hensler Financial, and we found three important things to focus on in the market this month. Number one, positioning. As you're probably aware, an army of retail traders has raided the market of late, squeezing a number of shorts, most notably in GameStop. This has been an entertaining phenomenon, but also raises some concerns. We are seeing rampant speculative activity, especially from small traders and risky bets in the options market. Call activity has exploded in the past year, and this sort of marginal buyer increases the risk in markets broadly. On top of this, margin debt, or people borrowing money to purchase stock, has also reached levels last seen at prior market tops. In addition to these two factors, we see declining market breadth, which measures how many stocks are leading the market. Number two, economic momentum. The rampant euphoria in markets is in many ways justified because economic conditions continue to improve. Among Bank of America economic growth indicators, nearly all are pointing to economic expansion. There have been a few offsets here and there, and consumer sentiment has been a bit middling of late, but in total, the economy continues to improve. The earnings data confirms this as well, with positive earnings revisions setting a new record. As long as the growth momentum persists, perhaps the fundamentals are somewhat supportive. We will be looking to the new data coming in to make sure we maintain this rate of expansion, specifically job growth and consumer sentiment. Number three, inflation. The recovery in late 2020 has been lumpy with some distinct winners and losers and growth continues to massively outperform value. However, if we do stage a full economic recovery, we are likely to see higher inflation. With higher inflation comes higher interest rates and the vaunted prospect of the Fed removing the punch bowl. In 2020, through fiscal and monetary expansion, the money supply has grown over 70%. This has yet to lead to runaway inflation and rising interest rates, but we have started to see early warning signs, especially with the 10-year treasury rising over half a percent since June to 1.19%. If inflationary pressures do continue to rise, we do expect tightening financial conditions to deflate some of the equity exuberance. And that's been your Market Minute for the month of February. Thanks for listening.